Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of rest of the bones of the skull. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. We will discuss three bones in this video, which are the lacrimal bone, nasal bone, and the vomer. Starting with the lacrimal bone. This bone is a thin plate found in the medial orbital wall behind the frontal process of the maxilla. Its lateral surface bears the posterior lacrimal crest. The lacrimal groove lies in front of the crest. This groove meets the lacrimal groove of the maxilla to form the fossa for lacrimal sac. Let's have a look. This is the anterolateral view of the skull. This is the medial wall of the orbit. This is the frontal crest of the maxilla. This thin plate of bone which you can see is the lacrimal bone. Here we have the magnified image of this part of the orbit. This bone encircled in yellow is the lacrimal bone. This crest which you can see is the anterior lacrimal crest. And this is the posterior lacrimal crest. We discussed here that the lacrimal groove lies in front of this posterior lacrimal crest. This orange arrow depicts the lacrimal groove. Lastly, we discussed here that this groove meets the lacrimal groove of the maxilla to form the fossa for lacrimal sac. Here the lacrimal sac is present. Next we have the nasal bone. The nasal bone joins the contralateral bone to form the ridge of the nose at its root. It connects with the nasal part of the frontal bone superiorly and the frontal process of the maxilla laterally. This is the anterior view of the skull. And this bone shaded in yellow is the nasal bone. As you can see here, it connects with the nasal part of the frontal bone superiorly and the frontal process of the maxilla laterally. The last bone is the voma. The vomer is a single, thin, quadrilateral bone that is located along the midline between the right and the left nasal cavities. Its superior border has two ala of vomer. The upper half of the anterior border articulates with the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. The inferior border articulates with the nasal crest of the maxilla and the palatine bone. The posterior border separates the posterior openings of the nasal cavity called coane. Let's have a look. This is the anterior view of the skull along with the lateral and the superior view of the bone. And this bone shaded in purple is the vomer. Here we have the lateral and the superior view of the bone. This is the superior border. This is the anterior border. This is the inferior border. And lastly, this is the posterior border. We discussed here that the superior border has two ala of vomer. So here we have the two ala of vomer. Here we have the sagittal view of the skull. This is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. And as we discussed here that the upper half of the anterior border articulates with the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. So here we can see this articulation. Here the maxilla is present. And here the horizontal plate of the palatine bone. We discussed here that the inferior border articulates with the nasal crest of the maxilla and palatine bone. So here we can see this articulation. This is the superior border. And it fits the rostrum of the body of the sphenoid bone. Lastly, we discussed about the posterior border which separates the posterior openings of the nasal cavity called the coane. These areas shaded in the yellow are the coane. Coane are nothing but oval shaped openings that lie between the nasal cavity and the nasopharynx. To understand it better, let's see the sagittal view. This area encircled in blue is the coana. Lastly, on the lateral surface, we can see this nasopalatine groove which transmits the nasopalatine nerve. So that is it for this video guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.